After a resounding Game 1 win and a brutal Game 2 collapse, the Fargo-Moorhead Redhawks surge into Game 3, looking to again right the ship in the series, hopefully to provide third baseman Leo Pena the best birthday present he could ask for. Now, no score after the first inning. We go to the second, and it's empty bases. Manny Boscan belting a shot deep center field. This one up and out of the park. Fargo Moorhead makes it three games in a row, striking first over Cleburne, one nothing Hawks. Railroaders get two on in the bottom half of the second. Mark Caraviotis ripped the ball down left field corner. This one's long gone. Three run home run taking the lead and they're not done quite yet. The next pitch, Guillermo Quintana in almost the exact same spot. Double trouble on the home run watch for Cleburne, 4-1 game now. And now they're tallying four more runs on top, but it's eight to one top of the fifth. Some life for the Red Hawks. Nick Novak tardy, but still welcomed into the home run party tonight. His third of the year scores two and brings it back to a five run game. And those Cleburne bats would not stay cool. They rack up double digits for the first time this series, scoring more and more runs with every game. Red Hawks do manage to score three in the top of the eighth, trimming the deficit to six, but it will end the scoring tonight 13 seven there. Your final game four of the six game series begins tomorrow evening at 7.06 p.m. again. Plenty of Legion baseball tonight too. Fargo post 400 hosting Mandan and already down 4-0 in the fifth. And this Ian Longton hit to left wipes the bases clean. A three run Chiefs double to boost the Mandan lead to seven runs. Mandan again trying to increase this lead going into the sixth inning. Alex Horner goes for the bunt and it rides the first base line and it stays fair. Throw is late, bases loaded again on a perfect bunt. Two more runs score by hit by pitch and wild pitch. This one right down the middle popped up right field. No one's got it. Mandan again scores. It's 10 nothing. That score line sticks. Chiefs win the game one of the doubleheader by double digits. More Summer Legion baseball. This one out west, West Fargo at Bismarck today. After scoring three runs in the first frame, West Fargo makes it 5 nothing top of the second when Brady Medina's grounder gets through the legs of Tommy Kraljic at shortstop. Airs everywhere for the Govs early on. This was their fourth after just two innings. Trailing big bottom of the fourth. Governors needing some kind of answers on offense. Parker Sagsveen would do his part. Crush this ball to the wall in right field, sliding in safely for the triple but he'd be stranded there by the end of the inning. West Fargo's lead going to six in the top of the fifth. Casey Clemenson's ground ball makes his way to right field. Carter O'Lean scoring from second base. Patriots continue to control game one. Six nothing now. It's going to finish eight nothing. Patriots win it. Pretty All right. Day. Busy. Uh, even the, it used to be a slower time of year for sports. Yeah. Still busy. <laughs> Legion always gets us covered. Tons Foster. of Legion through the summer. A busy uh, weather department the last mm -hmm. couple of weeks. Hutch is back in with a look at how that's going next.